Hi everybody, my name is Tommy Lee and as today is care day I thought that I'd take a minute and just pop on to read you all poem that I had written about the care system. Now before I read that I would just like to say a few things. Firstly that I would love this video to reach a young person who might be finding it a little bit difficult at the minute who might be feeling a wee bit alone because I want you to know that you're not alone and I am really proud of you for getting this far and myself like I have been in the system since I was 11 months old and involved with social services before that from I was born and I know most of you can relate to that as well it's been so difficult it is so difficult and the amount we get through on a daily basis is absolutely amazing and you should all be so proud of yourself and if you're a person who has made it through the care system and got out the other end i'm also so proud of you too so yeah this poem i had written about the care system and about how i felt about the care system i wrote this whenever i was really really low whenever I didn't see any hope at all. Like, I'd been failed by the care system multiple times. I had been let down over and over and over again. I was on alcohol, drink, drugs, everything going. In and out of secure accommodation, getting arrested every other night. I just seen no hope for my future. I seen no hope for me getting any better. Battling with anxiety, depression, PTSD on a day-to-day -day basis that I really didn't really didn't see any hope at all and what I done was I lifted a pen and I lifted a bit of paper little did I know that that was going to be my saviour of it all and I started writing and then I tried rhyming and then I realised that it worked <laughs> and yeah from then poetry writing has honestly got me through everything it has helped me on my lowest days where nobody's listening or I feel like nobody's listening or I'm hard to be listened to <laughs> and I write it down and that's how I explained myself that's how I got the message across that I was hurting that I felt alone that I felt like this and only then people could start helping me because they had realized what was really going on and I just feel like if there's something like that that you can find about yourself or discover about yourself that can get you through it honestly that's just amazing amazing because poetry writing expressing how i feel to people who probably didn't really understand has just helped me in so many different ways and i'm so thankful for everybody who has believed in me who has pushed me to get my goals who has set my poetry to poetry competitions that I have won. My poem has been published in a book. I have written my own book, which you can also order after. I will give the details after this poem. So it's called Care Kids. And I'm pretty sure most of you can probably relate to this. So. We scream, we shout, we kick and slam doors, but no one understands the pain we've been through before. We take drugs and get drunk until we can't feel pain no more, then bring us a secure accommodation where we're locked behind 12 doors. You will never see us cry, not even a tear, because we have learned the sign of weakness is something to be feared. We smile, we laugh, but that is our fake mask. All our wee hearts are broke, and some cannot be fixed. We have learned to deal with our problems through fighting with our fists. We have no place to call home, always sitting alone. Sick of hearing, phone call at six, lack meeting tomorrow. These are the rules that you have to follow. Family contact at nine, court meeting at ten. Everything we say, you write down with a pen. You can't be with him or with her. We're only saying this because we care. It's like we're all screaming for help but no one can hear but we can't ask for help because that's also something to be feared 
We fall asleep wondering why we were never enough. We wake up every morning more emotionally tough, like nothing in this world would ever bother us. We fall in love with each other, but it's not love, it's just lust. Because how could we love anyone else when we think no one loves us? The sad thing is, we would do anything to make sure someone else isn't bad, because we know what it's like to feel so sad. We still stand tall, even though it's been rough, even though it's been hard, even though it's been tough. We miss our friends a lot and family so much and we do anything in the world to get back in touch. We use and abuse, but use blame and accuse. You type in the computer your views for your next meeting to review our behaviour. You make our life decisions based on a piece of paper. We run away, need a place to stay, countless drug debts we cannot pay. We sell our clothes, we sell our shoes for any drug for us to use. Something needs to be done, something needs to change, but if things go wrong, you are not to blame. We need more support, we need more love. After all, we're still very young. It's such a cruel world we live among. I hope and pray at the end of the day that every care kid makes it to the light at the end of the tunnel. Now, thank you for listening to this far. The last thing I would like to say is I do have a, a book available. It's called Care Kids and basically it contains all my experiences the majority of my experiences my poetry i have got a poem for nearly every experience <laughs> because that's what got me through my poetry if something happened i wrote if i wasn't happy i wrote i turned it into poetry so it's filled with my experiences a poem about an experience and my advice to the younger ones in the care system just trying to get through and maybe you don't have that older sister or that mummy figure that you can ask for advice like I didn't and you just need you just need a bit of advice it's filled with advice experiences poetry and it's available for delivery just pop me a message on Poetry by Tammy and we will get it delivered straight away. Um, also on my page Poetry by Tammy you can purchase any personalised poem personalised to you um, if you would like it for a gift or maybe you want a motivational one, personalised motivational one for you. Um, that's all on my page Personalised Poetry by Tammy and we will get that delivered to you as soon as possible. Again, thank you all so much for listening this far and I hope you all have an amazing day. And please stay strong and remember, the care system cannot define how far you can go and what you can achieve. Thank you all for listening. Have a good day.